Welcome back to Caribou Farmhouse. If you're new here, my name is Kate. Today we're going to be making a strawberry rhubarb lavender gillette to celebrate Canada Day. To celebrate Canada Day, we're actually going out to our cabin this year, so I wanted to bring something that was easy to make, easy to transport, and still celebrated the fruits of our season. So I've washed all my rhubarb, it's washed and dried, and now I'm just going to prep it. I'm going to cut all of my rhubarb up right now, and then I'm going to put it into the bowl, and then I'll scoop out how much I need after. Next, we're going to take two cups of washed strawberries and dice them. Okay, so I've already put the flour in here. I have two and a half cups of flour in here. And then I'm going to mix in my sugar. I've got two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to mix our butter in. And for the life of me, I cannot find my pastry blender, so we're just going to do it nice. I'm going to cube it up. And I'm going to do one more. And while I'm cubing this, I've got three quarters of ice water in the fridge right now. And then when it's ready to mix the water in, then I will pull it out of the fridge so it's still ice cold and I'll mix it in accordingly. So I've got my knives. And just like if you're cutting something up, just slicing them back and forth. Wanting to cut the big chunks into smaller crumbly chunks. Okay, so my dough has super large flakes still and I want it to look like that because I don't want my butter to melt before I get it into the fridge because if it melts, or before I get it into the oven I mean, because if it melts before it goes into the oven, it will, uh, I won't get that, that super buttery flaky crust that I want. My water has been in the fridge and then I've got it chilling on ice here. It's going to add three cups, or sorry, three quarter cup of water, a little bit at a time, stirring it in. I don't want to add too much, but if I need to add more, I could add a little bit extra. I'd have to add a little bit of water, a little bit more. Okay, now that I've got my dough into a disc shape. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it in clean wrap and then I'm gonna put it into the fridge and I'm gonna let it chill for an hour. And you wanna be able to look at your dough and to see the little flakes and the slivers of butter, kind of like marble in the beef. You wanna be able to see that in your dough. Okay, so we're going to put our cornstarch, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I'm going to mix it right in with my rhubarb and my strawberries. Cornstarch just helps so the bottom of the crust doesn't get soggy. It kind of sucks up all the juices, and I've, you could use different things. I've seen I've seen flour being used. I've seen breadcrumbs being used. 
I'm sure you can use coconut flour. Well, actually, I've seen coconut flour, I've seen almond flour. Just something to save that crust, and because you don't want it to be soggy on the bottom, because nothing versus cutting into a piece of pie with a bad crust. Okay. Got a little extra one. Okay, I'll put that off to the side, and then we will take out our chilled dough. Okay, so we're gonna roll this out to about 14 inches, and we want to leave the edges kind of ragged. And I'm doing it right on the parchment because I'm actually just gonna use this parchment right in the oven as well. So the edges don't have to be perfect. I kind of want that a little bit rough shape there. Then we're gonna spoon in our mixture. center. And you don't have to do this. You can do it fancy if you want to kind of fold it over each top. And then we're just gonna fold upwards and kind of push our folds together so it holds somewhat of a shape. The last thing I'm going to do is just brush with an egg yolk mixed with a little bit of water. Next you're going to place this into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. For the strawberry lavender glaze, we're going to use one quarter cup of strawberry jam, three tablespoons of water, and one tablespoon of lavender flowers. You're going to put this into a small saucepan and bring it to a simmer. After it's done simmering, you're going to transfer it into a small sieve or cheesecloth and strain out the lavender flowers. Once you pull your galette out of the oven, you're going to dab it with the glaze while it's still hot, and then again before you serve it when it's cooled. 